Hi guys and welcome to the second day of the Shades of Magic week. Today we're gonna do Rip It or Ship It! So, I have a collection, I think it's 16 characters and we're gonna play another round of Rip It or Ship It. I've done it before with random characters, I've done it before with villains and today it's obviously all Shades of Magic characters. I did kind of and try to use the most well-known characters that we have but you know, not to have like only like Kel, Lila, Alucard and Rai. I put a few other ones in there that we kind of see from time to time that we maybe don't know as much about so it's definitely gonna be fun. I also put two other interesting interesting things in here that are not characters but that are kind of a thing that people ship people with. <laughs> You're gonna find out about it. We're just gonna get into it. This is gonna be interesting. I'm obviously gonna ignore anything that we know about any sexualities. I'm gonna ignore any people that I really ship. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh no, I don't want Lila to be with blah 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 because I ship her with Cal or you know, same with Ryan Alucard. I'm just gonna ignore all of that. I'm just gonna see if these people fit together. So let's have the first pairing out of my head. Obviously this time around it had to be a head because like, duh. So first off we have Alucard and Master Tyrion. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting first one. I thought like, I really thought that all of these would be either like completely like, oh my god, no, or oh my god, yes, because I just ship so much of them. Like there's so many pairings that I wouldn't have any problems with seeing. Master Tyrion and Alucard is one that I haven't thought about before. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. I just don't, I just don't feel it. Can't really explain it. I mean, we're starting out with the weirdest ones, but I'm, I'm gonna rip it. I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. Then we have Kala and Aether Stain. <laughs> no, like she is just a cinnamon roll and she's just the nicest like warmest person you know like she has so much Ugh, no way no rip it oh my god horrible i'm so sorry next is holland and osara <laughs> oh no 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 this is bad this is bad this is bad Holland, I'm so sorry. Okay, next two. Can we finally ship something now, please? We have... <laughs> so this is the, one of the things that I was talking about. It's barren and sadness. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, I guess Baron is one of the few people where the sadness part doesn't make me as sad as it would for other people. But still, it's just so sad to ship someone with sadness. Baron and sadness, I mean, I guess it fits. They, they fit together quite well because it makes me quite sad. So, I'm shipping it. Oh my god, this is the most horrible edition of this I have ever done. I, I want to stop. Next to Oshka and Cal. Oh my god! Oshka and Cal. You know what? You know what? It actually doesn't seem that far fetched. She is just really like power hungry. She just really wants someone to just kind of push her around, I guess, as long as they are powerful and kind of protecting the world she loves. So I feel like in a way they would fit together. So I'm just gonna ship it. The next two we have are Kissimir and Rai. Rai is just pretty much shippable with everyone. If it's not romantic, it's definitely physical. So hell yeah, I'm shipping that. I think they would actually make a really, really great pair. Just kind of have to shake it around. I think they would actually make a really great pair because they're kind of both amazing. <laughs> then we have Ned and Astrid Dane. This is another very interesting one. I feel like it has a similar dynamic in a way, I guess, as Cal and Oshka because I feel like Ned just, he just wants to experience magic and so I feel like it would probably work out in a way where Astrid would be like, you're my slave and I'm just using you for whatever. And Ned would be like, show me magic, I want magic because he's just obsessed. So honestly, I ship it. <laughs> okay, what are the last ones now? <gasps> I didn't even have to look at it. I know it because I know what's left. So. <laughs> I 
The final one is Lila and happiness. <laughs> Which, obviously, I ship it, even though it's like so... <sighs> it's... <sighs> does it really fit together? It doesn't. Let's be honest. But I want to see it. I want Lila and Happiness to be canon. So, obviously, I'm gonna ship it just for like positive thoughts. But this is like... <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna ship it. Wow. Wow, that was interesting. Whew. I mean, whew. you guys, I um, I need to recover from this. This was certainly very interesting. In the end, we did ship more ships than ripped, so I guess that's definitely good. Yeah, that was definitely very interesting. The kind of happiness and sadness thing, if you don't know, it's really just like people shipping Holland with happiness, some even with sadness. It's just kind of a thing in the fandom, I guess. So I kind of wanted to throw happiness and sadness in there too, but like it, it took a really sad turn. <laughs> Yeah, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these ships. I just find it so interesting. Is there anything else that like you completely non-canonly ship? Because I personally <laughs> ship Ryan Holland in a way. I mean, obviously like Ryan and Alucard are endgame, but I just for Holland's happiness, I guess in a way, I just really would love for them to have something together maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm weird. You know me. I'm weird. Holland is the best and he deserves love. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. This is gonna become stupid.